You're listening to Swiss Miss Gaming. Welcome to the Swiss Miss Gaming Studio Update episode. The first one we're putting together, I'm putting together. And uh, the objective here is just to give you guys an overview of what we're working on, what to expect in the near future, and how things are going. So the reason why I think you're all here first off is when's the next really cool battle report coming? The answer is soon-ish, and I'll get into that. So filming is complete. I'll show you some pictures of the studio and how it was set up. And so we filmed a good amount of content, and Lawson is currently in work editing it. Now, the reason why it might take a little bit is that this is a passion project of Lawson's. This is not his full-time job. It's not my full-time job. Uh, so he just works on it as part of his hobby time, right? So he's working on it, but it could take a little bit. And it's a lot of work making it as good as he makes it. And uh, he makes it look easy. So uh, I'm really excited. Uh, they were really, really good games that I think will be fun to watch. And a little bit different than last time, too. We've ironed out, mostly he has ironed out some of the technical uh, difficulties. And just having more people there in the studio at one time was really beneficial to making filming go a lot smoother, it seemed like to me, at least. So uh, you do have to look forward to some new battle reports coming. I can't give you a due date because I just can't. It's whenever Lawson can get them done. So... They really are amazing though, so the wait will always be worth it, and I'm excited to see them too. So on that note, I do want to announce that there's new Patreon tiers. Uh, a lot of you might not know that we do have a Patreon. Uh, originally, the Patreon was there to support the podcast, and it still does. That tier still exists, and you're more than welcome to, uh, of course, join that tier. Um, but I've added some tiers specifically to support more video content from us. And let me explain some of the justification for asking for money, right? And just know um, we're not going to necessarily stop making these content, this content if we don't make some set amount of money. This isn't about paying our bills or any of that. It's really about reducing the impact of cost to us personally to make the content. So talking with Lawson, the cost of recording each episode is somewhere in the ballpark of two to three hundred dollars, not counting labor and transit costs or any of those other things, right? That's literally just the cost to rent lenses, AV equipment, lights, whatever else Lawson needs for his vision of how to make the best battle report you can make. Uh, it's not free and it costs money, right? And so right now we're kind of, you know, he's really eating that bill. Um, and we want to set up this Patreon tier to help basically provide money to make it so that recording these videos don't cost us money inherently, right? Um, if, you know, recording each one of these videos costs us about $300 in just rental fees, we're not talking labor, again, just to be clear, uh, that's, you know, maybe he makes a few, then he peters out because you know, he's got other things to spend his money on. It's kind of a deal. So that's the objective with that, that tier. Uh, we want to allow Lawson to keep making these videos that I hope he's passionate about because they're amazing while not costing him money to do so without seeing any real income, right? We, we don't make income from YouTube. Uh, we don't yet, and honestly, we probably never will. So in addition to Lawson content, I personally want to make more, more video content. Um, and so that could help support me in the acquisition of equipment, software, and so on. Um, but all of that has a cost and it's a hobby, right? So obviously I'm willing to accept some cost, but getting some money back to help pay for things helps us do better things, right? So if you want to support the video content, check out our Patreon. The link is here. Um, but don't worry, none of it's going to be paywalled. Your Patreon tiers are most, mostly going to get you early access and, you know, Discord chats and stuff like that. But uh, we're not going to paywall anything, not yet at least. I, I don't see why we would. It's Infinity. I want you guys to enjoy the content. And uh, 
Uh, if you really enjoy it, toss us a few bucks, right? And if the video tiers are too much, feel free to join the, the podcast tier, right? It's kind of all the same bucket of money, if we're being honest. So check that out if it interests you and know that we appreciate you know all of our patrons already and we hope to add some more to help support future projects and leave a comment on what kind of content you want to see um i know we all want to see more loss in battle reports so maybe try to focus on things that aren't loss in battle reports that you might want to see but if you want to talk about loss in battle reports maybe pick some matchups what matchup do you want to see in a loss in battle report and uh, maybe maybe we'll see something interesting there so next podcast topic is Varuna. Uh, recording date still TBD. Holiday season's over, so it's going to be probably a little bit easier for us to schedule something. You know, family and holidays and trips and all those things are kind of dying down, getting back to normal. So uh, we'll be recording that relatively soon. And I also plan on uploading the podcast to YouTube more regularly in a video format. So look forward to that for those of you who enjoy the content on YouTube. Otherwise, it will still be on all of the, the podcast services that you're used to. So nothing really changing there. Gaming scene news. So a couple cool things I want to talk about. Uh, Battle by the Beach. Hotel rooms are available. Uh, this is a tournament up in Santa Cruz. For those of you who don't know, there's a really cool gaming group in Santa Cruz and that kind of that area. And they are really, really awesome dudes, really supportive of the game, the hobby, and the community. And this is a big two-day event at a hotel in Santa Cruz, and it's going to be awesome. There's some uh, after-gaming activities kind of getting planned already, pizza, beach, bonfire type stuff. And one of the best things about this event, there's really two things that are the best thing about this event. The first is that these are really good players up there. Like, you want to learn how to play some Infinity Go up here, play against these guys, and they're they're tough. Uh, they're good, they're fair, they're fun, they're awesome dudes, but uh, they are very smart and they're very clever. And uh, some of the lessons I have learned the hard way have been playing some of those guys up there. And that's always awesome, right? That's how you get better, right? You you go play really good players, and even like you might win, but you might see some amazing plays from them that make you think. So. Uh, the group up there is really cool, really awesome, great bunch of people. And then the second best thing about Battle by the Beach is that it's in Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz is beautiful. If you've not been to Santa Cruz, it is one of the most beautiful places in California. And California is a pretty beautiful state. So uh, check it out. I'll leave some links to more information in the description. But Battle by the Beach in Santa Cruz, he hosts it every year, and it's it's great fun. So I'll be going to that, and Bruce will be going to that. So that's exciting. Moving on, Adepticon, uh, all four of the main podcast groups, that's me, Carl, uh, Bruce, Morgan, and John, we're all going to Adepticon, and we're going to be participating in all kinds of Infinity content, the narrative, the ITS, obviously the panel, and all sorts of other stuff, so uh, we're really excited for that. I'm really excited to return to Adepticon. I couldn't go last year, and I'm excited to go this year. So uh, if you see us, feel free to say hi. Um, we're very excited and it's always fun meeting people that have listened to us before for some reason. You guys are crazy. So some more regional news for those of you who live in the Southern California area, specifically San Diego, Los Angeles County area. There are, there's a new league starting up. Um, figure out, I'll announce it here. Uh, basically, I used to run the San Diego League I'm now basically expanding that zone to LA as well, LA County. Um, the game night will be in, in a game store in Pasadena. More information uh, will be provided elsewhere. But uh, it'll be exciting. It's going to be a very standard ITS league, ITS 15. Um, be running a little bit longer than usual, but it'll be good fun. So if you're in the Southern California area, check it out. Maybe you didn't know that Infinity was being played regularly near you, but there's, you know, Tuesdays in San Diego, and I think it's Saturdays in LA that we're going to be playing, playing some Infinity. So check it out. It'll be a fun league, uh, nice and easy and casual, but um, always a good way to meet new people, play a lot of games, and play more Infinity. Uh, last, Rem Racers. Uh, we did receive a press copy of Rem Racers. I just got it in the mail a couple days ago. I've read the rule book. Looks like a lot of fun. So when we schedule our podcast recording, I'm going to get some game time in with the lads 
so I can get a better feel for it. And uh, expect some content with Rem Racer soon. I want to do some uh, like a, re a review and maybe even a gameplay video. Um, it looks like a lot of fun. It looks like a, a Mario Kart in the Infinity Universe. I think from my very initial reading and looking at all the things, I think they did a really good job keeping this game simple so that if you're not an Infinity fan, you'll still be interested, right? You're not going to get stuck in the weeds of all this Infinity stuff that you don't really care about, right? So I'm really excited to try Remixers out. Um, I hope it's as fun as it looks. And by all accounts, it's great. So look forward to more of that content soon. And that wraps up my studio update for January of 2024. Leave some comments about what kind of content you want to see. Check out our Patreon, obviously. Support uh, making more of these videos and the podcast, obviously. And thanks for tuning in. Have a good, have a good rest of your day.